Hi, I'm Dr. Arthur Bradley, also known as the EMP doctor. And one of the best parts of my job at Faraday Defense is to invent new products, uh, especially in the area of shielding and EMP protection. So I want to unveil a product today that I'm really proud of. I've worked on it for at least a couple of years. Um, and I think it's a really neat product. Nothing else like it in the market. So it's a product called the DEFCON Pulse Tag. And what it is, is it's a little small EMP detector. It's battery operated, so you don't have to plug it in. Um, it's made on this like keychain or arrangement so you can hang it on a backpack or on a keychain or whatever. Uh, it's nice and small. It operates on a really small coin cell battery. And I've designed the circuitry in it such that the, it uses so little current um, that the unit will last at least three years on a very small button cell battery. And then you can change out the battery if you ever need to. Um, so super energy efficient. Now what it does is when there's a very powerful electromagnetic pulse, like from an EMP, that E1, E2 pulse, the very rapid pulse that occurs early on, it detects it. It's got a little antenna system in there. It detects it and it sounds an alarm. And it's just kind of this high pitched, very annoying alarm. You'll know when it goes off. Um, and it will tell you, hey, you've been exposed to a very high intense electromagnetic pulse of some sort. Doesn't guarantee that it's from an EMP, but there's very few things that can generate very powerful pulses like that. So it detects when that EMP occurs and it gives you a warning when it does. And then there's a little reset button on the back, just a tiny little button back there that you can press that will cause the alarm to turn off and reset the unit having, and it'll go right back to being ready to look for another event. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you how this unit would arrive to you and how you get it ready for operation. Okay, so when you receive the unit, it's gonna come just like this. And it'll have a little plastic tab on it, um, which is a battery insulator. It goes down inside the unit along one edge and it insulates the battery so that the unit won't turn on until you're ready to go. That way it doesn't accidentally turn on before it gets to you. Maybe it gets exposed to something that turns it on and runs down the battery. We don't want that. So it ships to you just like this. The battery is already installed. The circuitry is already installed. All you have to do is pull the battery tab. And when you do that, the unit may sound. When it first gets power, sometimes it sounds. And if that happens, there's a little reset button right here on the back, a little tiny nub, and you'll press that nub and it will reset it. Okay, so we'll see. We'll go ahead and pull the plastic tab. All right, now in this case, it did not sound. Sometimes it sounds and sometimes it doesn't. But if it did sound when you pulled the tab, you would just simply push that little button there and it would reset it. Once you've got it, uh, the, the battery insulator removed, then all you're gonna do is take the Allen wrench that comes with it and you're gonna tighten these four screws that are on the top of the unit, all right, like so. And once you get all four tightened, you're ready to go. So it only takes just a minute to get it up and going. Um, but again, it's important that we ship it with that battery tab installed. And there you go, everything's ready to go. The reset button's on the back and the unit's ready, uh, it's fully operational, okay? So again, the unit may sound when you pull the battery tab out. If it does, don't be alarmed, just go ahead and hit the reset button. All right, and there you have it. If in the future you decide you need to change the batteries, maybe a few years down the road, you just simply remove the four screws, the little circuit board just pops right out and you can just change the battery uh, with a standard battery, standard coin cell battery. All right, so that's how the unit works. If you have any questions, please be sure and let me know. All right, the other thing I wanted to do was just show that the unit does in fact detect a very powerful electromagnetic pulse. So I don't have a way of generating an EMP here in my little lab but I do have these little handheld pulsers and I can just hold it up close to the unit and fire off the pulser and you'll hear it. It'll start making a sound and it's not terribly loud. It's not like everything anyone in the neighborhood is going to notice, but it's, it's loud enough that if you're right here in the room with it, you'll definitely notice it and you'll have to figure out where it's coming from. You'll finally realize, oh, it's my pulse tag. And again, the reset is on the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and demonstrate it. So I'll just take the pulser, I'll fire it off and the unit is sounding. You can hear that high pitched sound and again if i just push the button on the back this little button right here all right and hopefully you can see that as soon as i push that it gets reset and it's right back to fully operational again it lasts a very long time on a single battery um demonstrated that it does in fact detect a pulse pretty neat product um probably one of the better things i think i've ever worked on because it's very practical um relatively low cost easy to carry around and as far as i know it's the world's first portable EMP detector, certainly one that just operates on a battery like this.
All right. So anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know.